everyone welcome back to bkny hoops if you're new to the channel i am your host as always rasheed white all right you guys let's get right into it you guys see the the title you see the thumbnail there uh ben simmons and nick claxton can actually play together i'm gonna show you the proof that uh you know that he actually really well actually they really can and i'm tongue-tied tonight man so if i start stumbling bumbling all over the place man please forgive me over there man so um i have a lot to say let's get into this video here and uh you know there's a lot of people were saying that oh ben simmons and nick claxton it might be a problem and oh somebody's actually gonna you know have to come off the bench and well i'm actually here to dispel this notion right here that hey these two can actually play together and defensive versatility that you're going to really be able to get from these guys i think the brooklyn nets are actually being slept on and uh let's get into this video here let's get into it let's not waste any time all right so that hook shot is from 17 feet over there man i was single coverage no help All right, so again, he doesn't actually have to really shoot threes or anything like that. So you guys can see he can hit the 10 to 15 to maybe 17 foot pull up shot there or floater. And that should provide just enough space for Nick Claxton to actually really do his thing. And I'm gonna show you more. This actually really gets good. So get your popcorn ready and definitely, definitely be entertained right there. All right, y'all see how strong he is? He actually really just discards him. <laughs> I mean, he's really, really strong, man. I mean, really powerful. All right, so you saw how he just nudged Brook Lopez out the way, you know? And that's just like a seven foot, 285 pound guy right there. All right, so they're actually scared to actually come and help because Ben Simmons can actually make really high percentage passes to open uh, three-point sh shooters right there, which would see Brooklyn can actually go big in terms of Nick Claxton and go small with, uh, like, four out with uh, Cam Johnson at the four right there. Dorian, Finney, Dorian, you know, Dorian Finney-Smith at the five. Mikhail Bridges. And... Uh, you know, you can put Spencer Dinwiddie in there. He can actually hit some threes. All right, so you should be getting this from uh, the same thing from Mikhail Bridges right here. How Kevin Durant was actually able to put the ball on the floor, fake the three-point shot. Mikhail Bridges' uh, mid-range game is actually really insane. And he actually talked about working on his playmaking. So Nick Claxton or... Um, ben Simmons should be able to see looks like this. And y'all see right there, I mean, Ben Simmons is actually able to draw three defenders in there, three defenders, and give it to a wide open Kevin Durant, but then they actually closed out on him. Yeah, man, I mean, Ben Simmons is the real deal over here, man. This is him, and this is him last year when he was dealing with the knee injury and still dealing with some uh, back soreness. So I just wanna show you guys the, uh, the shots that he's making from the outside. All right, so you guys see that? One, two, three guys around him and they still can't stop him. I've seen the outside repertoire shots right there. All right, so it actually seems like if Ben Simmons is going to play with Nick Claxton, he's definitely going to actually have to be way more aggressive 
um, because you can't like if Nick Claxton really can't hit outside shots I mean he's really going to be operating within the dunker spot right there so Ben Simmons when he's actually with Nick Claxton he actually has to be more aggressive and actually look to score if Nick Claxton is out the game then he can actually look to be more of a playmaker oh, look at that look at the footwork man Ooh, I see the Euro, man. You gotta get. <laughs> you see how he actually moves without the basketball there? So you see what I'm saying? He gets, he, he uh, gives Stephen Adams like a nudge enough just to get him off balance. And he can come back with that hook shot. That was about, let's like, say, 15 something feet. I want you guys to actually see all the outside shots that he's actually making. So he goes downhill. He attacks the attacks the defense before they got a you know they got a chance to actually get set. So that Mikhail Bridges and Cam Thompson, uh, Dorian Finney-Smith, they should bring the same amount of attention because of the y'all. Y'all seen, seen games, this is this is games all around the NBA where these teams actually get hot from the three-point uh, uh, line and the game is over like uh, in the second quarter pretty much, uh, especially if a team is hitting like 20-something threes. So the three-point line is really 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 important to actually taking care of and ben simmons and nick claxon these guys should be getting a lot of cuts to the rim like rim cuts to the rim like this eight one two three guys ah look at that man he's able to read the defense steven adams defense is not set it didn't even matter right there because even if Steve, uh, Steven Adams can actually drop back to protect the rim right there, I mean, Ben Simmons, as demonstrated over here, can really hit these 15 uh, foot jump shots over here, these pull up jump shots or a floater. See, that's what I'm saying, man. Especially like I see when the big man gets switched on the Ben Simmons. I mean, the guards actually have to try to come back and really help uh, stop the ball. But then, like I said, he just did, you know does a little cradle and he's still able to really get to the rim right there, man. So I hope Ben, I mean, Ben can be a serious, serious player for us, man. I mean, if he can just like get back to 100% being healthy, and then if he starts expanding his game a little bit more. I see the defense. See that? One, two, three. Can't really. You see what I'm saying? Right from 17 feet. Crossover. You see, I, I now y'all see what I'm talking about in terms of the strength. If the big men actually get switched on to Ben, that was a switch right there. Then the guards actually have to come and try to help, and they just can't. I mean, this is <laughs> this is what's going to really happen. It's just too small. I mean, six eleven. Like I said, six ten, six eleven, two forty. Most of your guards in the NBA are around like six three, six four. Uh, a buck 90 a buck 95 man so um i mean sky's the limit for the brooklyn nets in terms of ben simmons health Ooh. 
All right, so right over there, you see the in and out crossover. He goes to his left hand. The defense is actually committing to stopping him from going to that left side right there. He comes with the footwork and goes right back to that right hand for the hook shot. So, I mean, stop listening to people, man. I'm just listening to the Locked On Nets podcast. I mean, I guess those guys do a really good job, man. But, I mean, listen, if you're going to do this, you got to really study the game over here, man. You really, really got to play this game, man. There's no such thing as like, oh, I could just study the game. No, you got to really, truly experience it, you know, for yourself. And then go out there. You can actually talk about it, man. But, um, I mean, Ben Simmons, I mean, his offer. Like I said, he had 42 points against Utah. He had a back-to-back 35-point game and uh, when he was with the Philadelphia 76ers. And then Nick Claxton, I mean, if Nick Claxton was still wide, like he was wide open for like a little um, um, uh, a bunny right there, like a little shot, like a little layup right there. If he can get like a little, you know, two or three foot, you know, a little floater right there, he was still wide open. Look at the ball handling skills. All right, so the, the, the defense is actually really too late to help. Ooh, finishes with the con, man. So y'all see what I'm saying? Like they gotta build a wall up against uh, Ben Simmons just to actually stop him. And a lot of times you see it over here, it's not really truly working. Now he, again, I mean, there's times it does work. He's not gonna make every single one of these shots that I'm showing you guys. Uh, but again, this is him actually coming off an injury, not playing basketball in a year and a half. In a year and a half. So you're gonna be indecisive. Uh, it's going to take some time, you know, especially even like this year, he has to trust that that back is 100% heal and he can fall on it, you know? So again, these are human beings we're talking about, man. You know, y'all guys actually think these guys are robots. They're human beings with emotions. They got the same feelings you have. If you were actually out there on the basketball court, you don't want to get hurt. You know, you want to also think about life after basketball. Look at the defense. So listen, he's so quick. I mean, like I was saying, he is so fast. The defense doesn't even actually have time to get back and, 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 and get set, man. I mean, Jesus, man, he is fast. I mean, just lightning fast, lightning fast. Oh, man, the footwork is insane. Bro. All right, so y'all actually see it right there. I don't want this video to go actually really too long, but y'all seeing it, I just wanted to show you guys the outside shots. I want to show you like how Ben Simmons and Nick Claxton can actually really play together. Uh, I don't know what Jacques Vaughn was smoking that day when he said they really can't, but yeah, he can. You just gotta go in and uh, look at what Ben can actually do. He needs to get, shoot more. You know, especially with, like I said, with Nick Claxton there, I think he needs to actually shoot more to really, 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 really suffocate that defense right there. Really just like, um, that's a, I'm sorry. Like, no, really collapse the defense, really collapse the defense. You know, so, you know, guys like uh, Cam Johnson and uh, Jalen Wilson, I mean, these guys are wide open. I mean, really, really wide open. So, um, I will wrap this video up. Let me know what you guys actually think in the comment section. Have I changed your mind about Ben Simmons? That's the key in terms of uh, in terms of the season he's actually really going to have, and how he, him, and Nick Claxton can actually play together. All right. So uh, definitely like, comment, subscribe. Certainly share this video. When you share, the universe certainly shares back with you. Peace.